Hello, welcome to a quick presentation about how to calculate gradient. Okay, here we have a distance time graph. Okay, and I want to find the gradient of this little section here, section A. Right. Now the line on section A is a straight line. Actually, the gradient is constant. This means. So uh, I'm going to use uh, a method to calculate gradient that uh, will work in pretty much any situation for you. Right, step one, I'm going to draw a line horizontally from the y-axis till it meets the line I want to measure the gradient of. Then I'll draw a line vertically downwards. Okay, it's got to be exactly vertically. I'm using a ruler to do this. You should be using a ruler. Okay, now I'm going to choose another random point on the y-axis that if I draw a line horizontally from, it will meet the line I want to measure the gradient of. Okay, so I've drawn it out, and then I'll do the same thing again and draw vertically down from the line I want to measure the gradient of. Okay, right, great. Now, I need to measure the size of this. Okay, so it goes from 2 to 7. Okay, 2 to 7 is an increase of 5. Okay, on this one, so that's 4, that's 6. Okay, hold on, that's, uh, this is 4, this is 6, so that must be 5. Right. So we go from 5 to 10. This is an increase of 5. Okay, so the formula for gradient is equal to uh, the change or delta, which means change, this little triangle. This little triangle means change uh, in Y, divided by the change in X. So from the measurements I've just taken, G should be equal to 5, which is the change in y here, divided by 5, which is the change in x. Okay, 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. And because this is in meters, distance is in meters, it's going to be meters over, and here we have seconds over seconds. Meters over seconds, okay? 1 meter per second. I've just worked out the speed from this graph. Okay, so I'm going to do another example now. Well, actually, I'll, I'll do uh, just point one thing out on the graph first. I could go ahead and try and calculate the gradient here, um, and I could draw two lines coming down, and, uh, but I'd find that obviously in the y there would be no change. So I'd end up with a graph, I'd end up with a formula that had zero on the top and a number on the bottom, like two or something, and this is just going to give me zero. So the gradient for this part of the graph is just zero, so we can kind of forget about that bit. You don't need to calculate the gradient if it's a flat line. Right. Um, let's try calculating the gradient for this section here, where it goes down. Okay. I'm just going to use a different color pen. I'm going to use exactly the same method. I'm just going to draw a line out. I'll try and choose some different spots. A line horizontally out until it reaches the line of the gra uh, the line I want to measure the gradient of. Then I'm going to draw a line directly down. Okay. And I'll do the same thing again. Draw a line out. So from three out and a line directly down. Okay. Oops. Just uh, make sure it's a straight line. Right. Okay. Because if it's not a straight line, it's not going to be accurate. So again, this is something you have to do with a ruler. Now I can measure the size of this. So it goes from actually it goes from six to three. It goes down. So to get from 6 to 3, you have to subtract 3. It's gone down by 3. Okay, and now I have to kind of estimate the size of this little section at the bottom. So if each of these squares on the bottom here is worth 2, so I would estimate that would be about 1. Okay, that size there is about 1. Right, so again, I want to take the formula. Gradient is equal to change in y divided by change in x. And I'm going to substitute the numbers into the formula. So the change in y was minus 3. Divide by the change in x, which was 1. And I'm getting a gradient of minus 3. In fact, I'll just write on the next line down. The, the gradient is equal to minus 3. And again, we've got meters here. We've got seconds here. So the units will be meters per second. OK, I hope you found this useful. And if you have any questions, you can comment on the comments page. Thank you very much.